Hi, my name's Spence and I'm going to answer your most frequently asked questions about busking that I get asked. Spence's Number two, the probably the most second frequently asked question I get asked about busking is, drum roll, <laughs> is do I need a license? well the answer to that is yes and no because in most places you don't need a license that is it most cities don't need a license you don't need a legal permit to busk because in and of itself it is not illegal However, places like the London Underground system, Camden, which is a borough of London, they do have a system which is uh, where you have to have a license. Um, you have to apply and there's a payment. And if you don't have a license, then you can have your equipment taken away and you can be fined. And they patrol that and police that quite heavily down there in London. But most other places, and again, the rules change. But as um, as it stands, when I'm as I'm doing this video in the UK alone, I cannot comment for uh, abroad. But uh, in the UK, then you don't technically need a license. However, that said, if um, if anybody complains about you about the noise and calls the police, then the police will want to get your name and if you give them your name then basically you are uh, letting them know that you're who you are and you're complying with them now if you don't then they're quite within their rights if they think that you've been causing a nuisance you've been um causing uh anybody to um be irritated or to be uh, disrupted in their day whether it's the noise whether it's the volume whether it's the uh the repetition um, basically people can complain and if they do if the police get involved then you do have to basically play the play the game and move on now what I try to do is before then if somebody's got a, a complaint with me I'm, I like to be trying try and be quite open if I'm busking um, in a sort of a in a shopping area or something I try and I don't try and be too loud and if somebody if I notice somebody or somebody asks me to turn it down then I will particularly if the police come and ask me and generally when they do they're very polite I've never really had I've only had one sort of negative experience really and that wasn't actually with a policeman that was with um, and that was with a warden um, who didn't really have any powers uh, but he was uh, very keen on trying to get me arrested and very keen on trying to get me fined and moved on but uh, the police actually came and then um, basically uh, overruled him and said oh, as far as they were concerned I wasn't causing a nuisance, no one else had complained, and so I was, I was, I was okay to stay there. So I, I guess it depends on where you are, but you have to be willing to kind of choose your battles, basically. Now, if somebody, um, if it's just a person, just a normal person, then you can, again, be polite, but don't, don't just move on with the first person who says, can you move on, please? You know, you need to have a, a discussion with them. Um, be willing to sort of turn it down, maybe position your speaker a bit more, uh, away from them or just say look you know if you're traveling around which you, you might tend to do um, if you don't just stick to a regular spot if you're going to a new place for example then you could just say look I'm only here for today um, I'm going to play for another hour or so and then I'm going to leave that might sort of work as well and uh, I'll do another video on things on ways how to uh, communicate with people and how to minimize confrontation with not just shop owners and the police but with other people as well um, so let me know if that's uh, a video that you'd like to hear more about so back to the license thing so generally you don't need a license um, some cities will have a scheme where they all have some kind of um, uh, in place they'll have some kind of guidelines where you may have to uh, they might encourage you to ring up uh, and book a spot or they might uh, have a certain designate area of designated spots where you're allowed to busk 
uh, and you have like a two hour turnaround, which is kind of normal for most places. Some places have an hour, some places have two hours, some places have 45 minutes, like London, for example, uh, because of the, comp the competition, basically. Um, so you have to be prepared to sort of play the game, be prepared to be flexible, be prepared to also stand your ground as well, um, because people will um, uh, test your boundaries if you're not uh, okay with your rights, basically. So don't take my word for it, I'm not a legal, uh, I don't know much about the legal system, I, I can't quote it verbatim, I don't know all the um, the references to that, so you know, educate yourself, it's all on Google, you know, do a bit of research and you'll find out your rights in terms of um, busking and, and the thing that they can ask you about obviously is a peddler's license if you're selling stuff, if you're selling merchandise um, with an actual price tag on it then you need a, a particular license for that obviously but having said that there are ways around that if you're just selling a CD then putting a sign on which says something like um, so you'll have ten pounds or five pounds or whatever the price is and then underneath clearly stated not in too small a print but just put that these are this is a suggested donation um, and if you want to buy a CD then that, that's the suggested donation you could also offer them for free and or a donation, that kind of thing. So you're basically you're not selling it as like a hard and fast price, but um, you know, it, it, but there is a price to it. Uh, that's one way of doing it. You can also buy peddlers licenses, uh, and again, uh, I could do another video on that and talk to you about peddlers licenses. You can buy your own. But I, what I do know about those is if you're selling stuff on the street like that, then you have to move around frequently, so you're not a stand, you're not a stall. Because otherwise, everyone could just set up their own little market stall and sort of, uh, you know, cheat the markets out of their rent. So you have to be mobile in that, and I think you have to move every twenty minutes or so, which really doesn't suit suit. Well, it doesn't suit my kind of busking because I'm amplified. But if you're unamplified, then you're happy. And you've got a lot of merchandise. If you were happy to move around every twenty minutes, then that's another way you can bypass that particular law. I don't know how that works, and if if you uh, with buskers, but um. If you know you see with these people who sell cushions and char you know plastic toys and things like that, they're often moving around, and that's how they get around that. You see, uh, by just having a peddler's license without a full sort of retail license. So um, again, so yeah, think about what works for you, what works for your act, what works for your kind of business if you want to do that, um, and let me know in the comments down below if you want to know a bit more about that or talk a bit more about that. So the second frequently question that I get asked about busking is, do I need a license? The answer is mainly no, but yes in some places like London Underground and Camden. And this is in the UK, of course. Outside of the UK, you need to do your research on that. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that. I hope that was informative for you. Um, if you liked it, subscribe and share. Um, and let me know what you thought about it and let me know what other ideas or what other questions you'd like to ask and I can hopefully answer them for you. Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.